Hey y'all, so it's me Alicia and today the video is going to be about Marvelly nails and I'm going to review them for you. So I bought them about a month ago or maybe three weeks, I'm not sure. So I bought two kinds. I bought the powder blue Marmalade and I think that was like full price I believe. And then I bought the one on clearance which is the amethyst. So this is what it looks like. They're pretty thin, like very, very thin. And I personally didn't like them. So I took them off right away. So as soon as I put them on, I took them off. I just did I just don't think I like press on nails. I don't think it's my thing, but I wanted to try it. And I felt like the advertisements on Instagram was very intriguing. So I was like, I have to try them out. But other stuff it comes with, I think is really cool, is that it comes with this. Um, I don't even know what this is called, but it co it comes with the nail kit. It's a removal tool that they have, which is really cool and was very useful when I took off my nails. Which I don't recommend taking them off right after putting them on, especially since the way I did it, I put it on where it's supposed to last for like two or three weeks, and I took it off the same night. So. I damaged my, my nails pretty badly from doing that. It also comes with this. So it says, hello, beautiful. And it like talks about all this other stuff on here. So it's really cool. You know, I was like, thank you. You know, I guess, you know, thank you again. And we hope you love your marmalade nails. Um, They talk about how to, you know, take them off. Like it was a lot. It was like good detailed instructions. The packaging was really nice. I just personally don't think I like press on nails. So I feel like my review may be biased based on the fact that I realized I really don't like press on nails. The price point to me was a little high because like if you just quickly Google press on nails, you can get press on nails for like six, seven dollars. So I'm kind of like, are they really that extra special? I'm not sure. But they do have really cool designs on their website. So if you go to Marmalade Nails, like, you know, you Google Marmalade Nails or whatever, they come up and they're on like, I guess, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. So, I mean, oh, and they also give you like a code on here too. So like when you go on, I guess when you buy some more nails, they give you a 20% code. I don't know if they're still doing that or not, but that's really nice. Um, so I guess on a scale, like from one to five, I think the nails are pretty average. Like it's been probably many years since I've used press on nails. To me, they just seem very average. So I might just give it like a three because out of five, just because of the fact that, I mean, there was nothing really wrong with the nails. I just don't like the way they looked on me. Um, they're pretty light. Uh, um, hopefully I'll have pictures on here of like what my nails look like when I had them on for that brief moment, you know, but if you're into press on nails, I guess it's okay. The customer service is awesome. I would give the customer service like a 4.5 out of five actually. So I think the owner was the one talking to me directly through their support and they told me that they'll give me a refund if I send back the unused set. So the thing is, is that I sent the unused set. I didn't send the amethyst set. So they only refunded me for the powder blue set. But it said to send the unused set and then I get a refund for both. So that part was kind of a little bit like, eh, I'm like, whatever. I get it. I used it. I didn't really keep it. I only kept it for a day. And that's the reason why I gave it 4.5 stars and not a full five stars because I felt like that part was kind of like... You want me to send you un like use and unused to get the refund for both? Like, I guess it should have been more clear. Like, we're only giving you a refund for the unused set, you know? But anyway, that's not a big deal. I'm glad that they quickly responded to my needs and they, and it was free to send back. So that's huge. Like, I didn't have to pay for shipping for the return. And my return came, you know, in a decent amount of time. So it worked out pretty well for me as far as the refund for the powder blue ones, which were actually 
a little more expensive than the other ones. I used the ones that were on clearance first. Um, and I just didn't like them. So overall, I guess if you like pricey press on nails, I guess is a good idea because like if you look at the numbers, I spent about 25 bucks for those two, 25, 30 dollars for those two sets. I want to say it's 25. Um, and apparently you can use these nails twice. And for me, I'm very rough on my nails. I don't know if I'll be able to use something like this twice. But I guess you, it can stay on your nails for up to two to three weeks. And then after that, you can peel them off and then try to reapply them again. But if you're really rough like me, you might be like, you know, using that removal tool. And then you like, I'm trying to find one that's messed up. Like this one, for example, you see how it's like already messed up. I can't reuse that again. You know what I mean? But that could have been just for me being heavy handed. So that is my review. I'm hoping that you guys will see pictures of what it looks like. I personally would say it's like a three out of five, very average when it comes to press on nails themselves. I personally think because I guess back in the day, like press on nails might, might have been a little bit thinner than these, but like to me, they're just not super special in my opinion. Like you're paying like, you know, 60, some of them up to almost 30 bucks per set. And like, and I know it's cheaper than going to the salon if you're using, like, um, if you're getting fill-ins. It depends on where you go. And it depends on where you live. Like, if you like, I remember back in the day, like, fill-ins were, like, $13. But you're in the hood, semi-hood, hood, and you're getting press on, and you're getting, like, fill-ins for $13. So it really just depends. And I used to go to, like, a nail lady, like, one particular person who did in their house, and I would just pay $25 for my nails. Like, she would do, like everything $25 so it really depends on where you go what part of the world you live in and what you expect your expectations and I just felt like I don't know I just didn't like the way they looked on my nails personally uh but anyone out there who use who use marmalade nails or even press on nails like comment let me know what you think I say it's three out of five I say the customer service is 4.5 out of 5. I do feel like they have a decent variety of nails. So people that are more like basic when it comes to their style and people more a little fancy fancy on the other end. So overall, I think if you like press on nails and you want to pay a little bit more than you would pay if you go to Target or Walmart or something like that, give them a shot. Customer service is pretty good. So I, you know, I say give it a chance. All right, you guys. Well, that was my review. If you have any other questions or comments about marmalade nails, I am not personally wearing them right now because I told you me personally, I did not like them. Um, but I say you can still give them a shot if you're willing to, you know, fork out the money and you like press-ons. It's not, it's not that bad. Seems like normal press-on nails to me. They don't seem, you know. Anyway, I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.